We are the paradoxical ape. Bipedal, naked, large-brained. Long the master of fire, tools, and language, but still trying to understand ourselves. Aware that death is inevitable, yet filled with optimism. We grow up slowly. We hand down knowledge. We empathize and deceive. We shape the future from our shared understanding of the past. Carta brings together experts from diverse disciplines to exchange insights on who we are and how we got here. An exploration made possible by the generosity of humans like you. Good afternoon, and my name is Rusty Gage. I'm the president of the Salk Institute and also a member of, proud member of CARTA for, from the very beginning. Uh, many of you have been here before, so it's not your first time. And for those, I welcome you back. This is a celebration of our 10th year of CARTA and it's 31st session of CARTA in this last 10 years. Um, but it's not, that's not the begin, that was not the beginning of CARTA. We actually started many years ago, and, and I, actually at the, uh, Ajit Varki was wandering around campus talking to people about the origins of humans and, and uh, talking to many of us about, from different perspectives, neuroscience, biomedical sciences, linguistics, and said, what do you, what's your thoughts on this? Well, how did humans, what's the origin of humans? And I sort of got very angry with this because he was going around meeting with other people, collecting this knowledge, and uh, we were sitting around, stuck in our offices. So we began to uh, uh, urge him, and we all got together and started meeting as a group. And the, the original group was called the La Jolla Group and the Origin of Humans. And we had these gatherings uh, here at the Salk, uh, in the trustees room, I believe. And uh, it became very clear early on that uh, the diversity of individuals in our group wasn't broad enough to address the kinds of questions that we we wanted to address or felt like we needed to address and thus began this idea of recruiting experts from outside the field and CARTA began to grow and with our supporters we were able to to um, to make it happen. So today what you'll we'll hear for this afternoon is a, really a sampling of uh, some of the best of the speakers that we've had over the years and covering a, a lot of the main topics that uh, we've covered over the years and an update on, on where we are with it. So with that, I, I'm gonna uh, ask Elizabeth Simmons to come up and say something to us about uh, the UCSD. She's the Executive Vice Chancellor of Academic Affairs at UC San Diego. Elizabeth. Thanks very much, Rusty. Um, I'm speaking both on behalf of myself and Chancellor Kosla, who uh, unfortunately couldn't be here today. But on behalf of both of us, I'd like to issue a warm welcome to everybody here, um, really to celebrate the 10 years of accomplishment of CARTA and to look forward toward the future. UC San Diego is very proud to partner with the Salk Institute and many other organizations and individuals in support of CARTA. As you all know, CARTA is truly one of a kind as an organization that successfully convenes scientists and scholars of innumerable disciplines um, to pursue the answers to some of the big questions that we have as humans about what makes us human and how we got here. And, um, that's something that every discipline, I'm a theoretical physicist, but I ought to be concerned with that <laughs> myself as well. That, should, that shouldn't exclude me. 
I think that CARTA also is um, particularly important in the way that it provides unique opportunities for doctoral students to interact with world famous scholars and scientists, again, from many fields, including fields very different than what the students may have thought they were originally going to study, and to interact with students also from across these many areas in pursuit of common questions. And I'm not aware of any other program that brings together students from fields as disparate as visual arts, neurosciences, linguistics, biomedical sciences, to engage in the exploration of and the meaning of human origins. CARTA is also emblematic of UC San Diego's broader theme of breaking boundaries, breaking tradition, and looking beyond the, uh, the well-established disciplines to see what new kinds of exploration might be out there for us to engage in. I think it's wonderful that this cutting edge program equips our graduate scholars with the kinds of skills and mindsets that they will need to be able to have a more panoramic perspective on their studies and on what it means to pursue the questions about human origins. So on behalf of UC San Diego, again, welcome. And I would also like to specially thank some of the very generous donors who have helped make CARTA possible over the years uh, with um, very generous um, uh, gifts adding up to $1.5 million in fellowships to graduate students. And so you can imagine, that just makes a tremendous difference to what can be achieved. So thank you, and thank you for including me today. I'd now like to introduce David Brenner, who's the Vice Chancellor for the Health Sciences Center. David? So I have known Ajit Farki and Rusty Gage my entire adult life. <laughs> I don't know how many other people I can say that about. And um, I, I've been very amazed by, by this collaboration. So, so I don't know any of the other two people who can put this together. So I think we should give the two um, coordinators a, a round of applause. And like Elizabeth Simmons, my colleague, I've been amazed to get together such an enormous, diffuse, different groups of people all interested in one topic. Um, in my field, medicine, everyone's gotten so highly specialized that we only go to very, very specialized meetings and we never get out of our comfort zone. And I know each of you are a world's expert in your own field, but to leave that comfort zone and then to try to think of really deep questions and learn from other people who are of completely different training than you do, um, it's really impressive, and I, and I think it speaks well, not just of you guys, which you should all be very impressed with yourselves, but also um, with, with San Diego and the collaborative community and, and the way people interact. I, I don't know too many other places that would be able to, to, have, to host a place, something like this and, and do this. And then on a personal note, as the Vice Chancellor of Health Sciences, there's always sort of, you know, bad things happen and we get bad publicity and things. I have never had an organization or, 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 or a department or anything like Carter where we only get good news from. I, I don't know what you guys do. I don't know who, who you know. But it, it, they've gotten more from nature, from other places, they've gotten more good publicity about you know, deep thinking and novel ideas and breakthrough concepts than any place else. So it really drowns out all the other stuff. So I'm really grateful for that. So on that note, I want to turn it back over to Rusty. And, and I actually have been to many of your meetings. I'm going to stay here as much as long as I can. I'm looking forward to it and um, enjoy your meeting. <laughs> okay. I have a few additional slides uh, of acknowledgement and a sort of definition of who we are. This is a poster. These are all the posters of uh, the 31 meetings that we've had at CARTA. So a little bit of definitions for those people that have not been with us before or, or to get you into the mood. So what are th these are some of the oldest questions um, about humans. Who are we? What are we doing here? Where did we come from? How do we get here? Uh, and where are we going? Many of these questions uh, are not approachable with current methodologies, but we focused on where do we come from and how do we get here is the key questions that uh, CARTA is engaged in. One of the terms that emerges from CARTA is this idea of anthropogeny, which is the explaining of the origins of humans, and we use that as our central point for, uh, fo for the focus of our attention. 
One of the key features that's been already um, commented on by Elizabeth and David is that the study of anthropogeny is a multidisciplinary studies. We have humanists, biologists, engineers, physical and chemical scientists, social scientists, and biomedical scientists working together and represented here in the audience as well as represented among our speakers. Uh, sp this uh, is sponsored um, by the Salk Institute and UCSD. We're very welcome, welcome you all here. So CARTA is a transdisciplinary collaboration between faculty at UC San Diego and Salk Institute along with interested scientists from other institutions, all of who are interested in studying and exploring and explaining the origins of human phenomenon. Ajit Varki is the uh, major co-director and Margaret Schoeninger and I are also acting as co-directors as well. We have a special thanks to Pascal Guignot, who is the associate director and a professor co in both the Department of Pathology and the Department of Anthropology, sort of giving you a feeling of this cross-disciplinary nature of things. We have a, a very special thanks to the Harold and Layla Mathers Charitable Foundation from New York, of which Howard Chester is currently the executive director. They've been long-term supporters of our, of, our, of our meeting. I have a special thanks also to our major supporters, Annette Merrill Smith, who's with us today. Anonymous, who's probably with us today, I would guess. <laughs> Nissi and Ajit Varki, Rhea and Richard Atkinson, and the Kavli Institute for Brain and Mind. Here are a list of individuals that have been supporters of the James Handelman Endowment uh, for the Exploration of Anthropogeny. Uh, James Handelman was, uh, was the previous director for the uh, Mathers Foundation, was a longtime supporter of the CARTA effort. These are additional supporters and institutions uh, that have contributed to getting where we are today, still continued. Uh, Hopefully you'll find your name there. And uh, I, a special thanks to Elizabeth Lancaster and Ailey Schefter for sponsoring the symposium's closed captions on YouTube, which is quite variable. And they wanted to do this in memory of Kurt Bernischka, one of the founding members of CARTA. Finally, uh, I want to call out to our staff, CARTA staff, Ingrid Bernischka Perkins, who's with us here today, and Rachel Emmons, Katie Kaya, Linda Nelson, and Jesse Roby, all of whom many of you, certainly the speakers, know very well from their, all their efforts. UCSD, Rich Wargo, Steve Anderson, Marcy Bretz, John Menier, and at the Salk Media Services, Kent Schernecker and Michael Jeffries. And of course, we had our Ed Siegel as our, our local um, pianist. <laughs> 